He's still doing those fucking attacks. What the fuck's happening? I'm glad to be rid of it. Try and resist me if you dare. What the fuck? That's some fucking shit platforming. <laughs> Holy cannoli, man. Oh my god. I thought I was in the face. I thought I would have been too since we got there. Oh my god! Gonna hit it, watch out! Oh my fucking god, dude. It's so hard to get the timing of that <laughs> fucking attack. Sometimes I got it, sometimes I don't. See? Oh my god. I think it's... Hmm. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see it that time. Okay. That's fucking fair. So fair! <laughs> That's okay. I think she says something. supposed to be looking for them. Badass platform. Come on, man. Oh my god. 
that dude. I'm guessing this is where the invincibility road come in handy. Yeah. How are these enemies not affected by this shit? <laughs> exactly, what the fuck? That was easier. I can't even fucking get up there. Holy fucking shit. This has to be so, the, one of the fucking dumbest boss fights I've ever had to play in a video game. <laughs> I know, we've seen some bad ones too. Seriously. Oh my fucking god. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> There you go. No? Oh my fucking god, that's so stupid! Like, seriously! Like, seriously, does literally everything just, like, decapitate me in one hit now? Like, what the heck? Oh god, please no. Oh god. There you go. Okay. Watch your footing. God, this thing sucks. Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at it. Fuck. Holy fuck, dude. Mm. 
Fuck it, yellow. You can shoot from there. Dude, this shit is tilting to the max. <laughs> Yeah, no fucking health, and he still does it. So stupid. Last one. Oh my god, I was in slow mo right there. He went fucking flinging out the screen. Just like that. That's how it ends. Oh, her concert of uh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Yeah. This has to be one of the most fucking rush games I've ever fucking seen. In my Whoa! Life. We beat it, guys. Never dead. My uh, my thoughts about the game. Um, in the beginning, I thought it was really simple. Pretty fun. Not really difficult. 
Like, the game itself isn't really hard, you know? It's just the mechanics, it's, bro! Fuck. I wouldn't even blame that either because I wasn't blocking half the time and then the traits I was taking too really didn't benefit at the very end there, you know? You know, but, you know, you could have probably abused them and, uh, and I'm not sure if I even would have been able to, you know, roll out of that attack he was doing, you know? Yeah, that's true. But, like... But it's buggy as fuck as well. This game is... Yeah, that's the downside about this game. This game feels really rushed for a game that was made in 2012. <laughs> I mean, like, I can think of... I, off the top of my head, I can't really think of anything that was made in 20, 2012 that's actually really well. I mean, like, we could Google it, but, like... Maybe I'll just throw it in the video at the very end, like, here. But, like, seriously, there's probably games that are much better designed than this. This game could have had a lot more potential, in my opinion. Like, it had a really unique concept. Like, I've never, like... And personally, I've oh, never the... seen anything, like, with the, you know, throwing your limbs, shooting yeah. everywhere. I thought that was pretty unique about this game, and I liked it. But the execution was terrible. Yeah, I mean, like... I mean... This game could have been awesome. Like, I like the characters. They're pretty unique in themselves. I think, you know? like, a Platinum game should have made this or something. Yeah. I mean, like, honestly, just, like, the way some of these characters look, it kind of reminds me, uh, he reminds me of Vamp from fucking Metal Gear. Yeah. You know, and, um, and, uh, like, yeah, honestly, I kind of feel like Platinum Games or Team Ninja probably should have done this. Like, if they did this, and this game would have probably been, like, a hack and slash, for real, for real. For real, yeah, yeah. yeah but I would have liked that, because that's what the sense of style that this game probably should have been. But, you know, men, maybe it wouldn't have uh, went so well together with the concept of throwing your limbs. Nope. Yeah, but... Because it needs to be fast. Yeah. But, uh, honestly, I... Uh, Overall, I give this game a uh, 6 or 5 out of 10. I give this game a 5 just because of the fucking buggy-ass jump <laughs> yeah. at the end there. But, um... Like... Honestly, Konami, like, god, they really dropped the ball with this game, I, I personally feel. At least they're not in the game anymore. Like, like, in this scene in particular, like, what the fuck? Like, this is the first time that we actually meet this character that we hear about that's supposed to be the chief of, like, this agency that protects the worlds from demons. Like, oh, hey, I was evil the whole time. Ha ha ha, plot twist. <laughs> you know, but... I mean, like, I like these characters, you know? They could have been fleshed out a little bit more. I want to know more about, like, Bryce and himself. I know, like, he hates himself in a way because of him not being able to finish his job he was supposed to do, like, 500 Oh, yeah, and they, they didn't expand on the story about uh, his wife and daughter. Yeah, I mean, like, he didn't know he had a daughter until the end, but, like, I would have loved to know more about Cypher herself, you know? Or maybe her have, her have some type of homage or, like, flashback memory thing. Uh. Like, Oh, hey, you could do it, Bryce. Kind of cheesy, but, you know, it would have been really good for the game to help us connect with Bryce just a little bit more, you know? Because, you know, uh, in the end, Bryce isn't a bad guy, you know? He just he just kind of wants to move on with his life, you know? He's been <laughs> he alive. He wanted to die. He kind of wanted to die just because he wants to be with his wife, you know? He's in an, he's in an age that he doesn't really... I'm not just gonna say he doesn't understand, but it's different from when he was alive. Yeah. I mean, like, even though in the cutscene it showed he kind of had a gun with, like, wooden bullets or some shit like that. <laughs> what? Or something like that? I thought it was just a sword. No, no. He had, a, he had like, an AR-15 on his back. The fuck? Or, like, a GQ-36. You know that one gun from yeah. like, Call of Duty? Mm-hmm. But, um... The only reason I reference Call of Duty is because it's, it's like one of the prime guns from Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the first game, Call of Duty 4. Um... No, no, Call of Duty 4 is not Modern Warfare, is it? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm getting... Yeah? Yeah. It's the first one? What? The first what? Call of Duty 4. Modern no, Warfare, no. There's, it. It's Call of Duty, and then Call of Duty Red Big One, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, and then Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Okay. I'm just kind of thinking that I'm confusing the title Modern Warfare with... No, the... no, it's it's a subtitle. Uh, okay, it's a subtitle. Yeah, but anyways, like, there, this game had some really nice moments, like, you know, when uh, Tom was like, or what's his name, Alex or Tom? Alex. Alex. Yeah, when the vampire? Alex, yeah, he wasn't really like a vampire. He was just kind of like an emo guy. <laughs> I, like know, I, really wish, I wish they kind of like expanded more on him too, you know? Because it seemed like if they kind of gave us like a better reason for why he wanted to be evil. See, look, look, he's got a gun on his back. Oh, I yeah, see. You know, if they gave us a reason why he was more evil, like, you know, he wanted to be like Bryce, you know? But like, why? 
I thought they were actual brothers when he's like, brother. Yeah, I really, for a second there, I thought they was, but like. Like that character right there, whose name I can't remember, I didn't like him at all. Like, nothing really significant. He didn't change. Like, he didn't seem like he was more powerful after 500 years, you know? He was just like, oh, I'm fine. Like, this guy's not going to beat me. Obviously, there's no medium. Like, they're like, oh, why are they protecting this girl? I, th I like, think, you know? I, I look, Mega Death. Uh, I thought the game would have been better if it was in their time period 500 years ago. Instead of the cities and cars and all that bullshit. Yeah. And those are fucking buggy, too. <laughs> like, I wish you kind of, like, when uh, I honestly think to make this game a little bit more unique, I think it would have been cooler, like, if it went back and forward. Like, from oh, the okay. past yeah, to the future. I says, but, yeah. but as you progress in the future, they start to lose, like, more memory of you because, like, Things are being set right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, the more influence you had in the future, like, uh, it sounds kind of complicated to explain, but, like. It's it's like those uh, it's kinda parallel like, universes where yeah, it, something changes if yeah, you go back in time. Kind of like that, but, um, like, since you didn't know that much in the past, in the future, you learn more about it and you're able to, like, transfer that information to your past self, right? You know, I, I, I know that's from another video game, but I love the concept of that because then. Bryce as this older individual uh, individual would be able to like kind of mentor himself in a way because when he was younger he seems to be kind of like a kind of big chip on his back yeah so a ch big chip on his shoulder you know kind of like a big shot even though like in the cutscene here he gets like kind of decimated in just like two or three hits but obviously you would if you get like hit by like a giant ass snake like that you know <laughs> but. Damn, a lot of people work in this game. Jesus. But yeah, that's just kind of my take on how I thought this game would have probably been a little bit better. Oh, gosh. Oh, Rebellion. Oh, God, Rebellion. How the guys who made uh, Sniper... Sniper Elite. And they also uh, released that Warriors game on the PS2. No, that was Rockstar. No, that was, that was Rebellion. Yeah, the name, the title's called Rebellion, developed by yeah. Rockstar. Really? Yeah. What the heck? That's so weird. I was mistaken on that. Yeah, um, yeah, just like overall, Never Dead, like a five... I'm gonna say a solid five for me, just because of how yep. frustrated I kinda was getting, but... When I really think about it, there's just too many negatives over positives for this game. And also, like, with when you're leveling up abilities, like, you have to kind of grind quite a bit mm -hmm. for, like, the casual kind of guy. Like, I mean, like, I like how they give, like, the bonus experience, but you kind of have to trade a lot. And as you saw, I was getting to cap, you know, kind of blown up pretty fast. <sighs> what is this? Oh, memoir. Oh, memoir. She's the chief now? Hey, sweet chicks. I guess you're pretty lonely without me, huh? Bryce? It's hell over here. My kind of place. Ha 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 ha. We got a bow gun? What's a bow gun? It says abilities unlocked. 15 new abilities. Weapons found, the bow gun. What's the bow gun? Didn't even unlock it anymore. Sprint. Why? Wow, you can sprint even faster now. The jump. The quick regain plus two. Rude words? <sighs> okay. <laughs> what does it do? I guess it says fuck or shit, I guess. Really, let's do that. What what uh, what other skills did you get? Keep going down. Oh here. Whoa, here we go. Nice. Whoa, two times? Yeah, definitely they wanted you to play through this game maybe like once yeah. or twice. What the hell is this? Not good for education. 
Desperate. What's desperate? Hard smasher. Heavy limbs. Quick reload. Seduction. Okay. I guess you're just aggroing the enemies. Sure, why not? I was like, where did everything go? <laughs> Damn, son. Woo! Fuck. Uh... Extra XP. <laughs> what do you... If you continue... What, wait, what? I don't know. We're about to find out. Let's see what it does. Oh, uh, I see. What, what's multiplayer challenges? Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, try one mission. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty short game. Jeez. Sure, when I would do this one. Yeah. Well, at least we finished this game, you know. Mm-hmm. That's. I mean, did you want to stop the recording? Just, just, you can do this. Okay. Well, I mean, we're only going to be like, maybe like 30 seconds or yeah. something like that, you know? I just want to see like, what the fuck it is. Looks like we're the only loonies here. We're an abandoned mental asylum. A couple reported that they saw some kind of monster running around. What the hell were they doing in here? No idea. Cheap thrills, maybe? So, did Bryce actually die or like... No, he's in hell. How does he get a call from hell? That's... It's the humor about it, uh, man. Sorry, maybe I'm thinking... Right, what the Let's fuck? Just get uh. done, shall we? You still have the same blade? That's cool. Please, first. Oh, that's cool. Oh, see, that's the one from the beginning. It's a bow gun. Oh, it's unlimited. Oh, shit. Bryce, this door is locked. Oh, that's cool. Come above and open it from the inside. Yes, princess. Arcadia, Bryce, I apologize for having you two work so early this morning. That's cool. Chief, it's no problem whatsoever, sir. After all, it's early for you, too. I can't expect my people to be out working at this hour without some support. Wait, that was the bow gun? It was from the beginning. Oh. How are you anyway, Bryce? Not bad. I won't be dying anytime soon. Great to hear it. You've got your radios. I'll keep tabs on you from HQ. If you need anything, let me know. Jeez. You can destroy everything, huh? Yeah. Bryce, do you copy? Yeah. Open this door with that panel. Right. Fucking skip it. Fuck. Ugh. You say it like it's a bad thing. So this is it. just what I need. Humans, go pick them up and straighten yourself out. To pick them up, use the combat tool. Well, thank you for the X. 
Too much damage to stop this. Dead end. Chief? Yeah, nothing too special. Nope. 